Hello students welcome to the second part of our geography class chapter the universe I hope now you have got some understanding about our universe from the first part of the chapter let us now begin our session on one of the major component of universe that is stars and constellations when you look up at the night sky you will notice that it is full of tiny shining objects some of them seem to be twinkling some are bright while others are dim not all the objects can be seen through our naked eye the sun the moon and all the other objects shining in the night sky are known as heavenly bodies or celestial bodies some of the celestial bodies are very big and hot they are composed of gases and have their own heat and light these are called to be stars each star is a huge dense mass of hot and burning gases these emit heat and light in large amounts therefore they are called self luminous objects as they emit light on their own the sun is also a star In the sky the other stars look so small as compared to the sun because they are very far away from us whereas sun looks bigger and brighter because it is nearer to the earth than the other stars Proxima Centauri is the second nearest star to the earth after the sun In ancient time navigators used to determine direction with the help of pole star It is the brightest star that remains in same position in the sky. In the sky, you may have also noticed various patterns formed by different groups of stars. These are called constellation. One of the easily recognizable constellation is Ursa Major, also known as Small Bear or Saptarishi, where Sapta means seven, Rishi means sages. The constellation Ursa Major, the Great Bear. is visible in the northern hemisphere all year long another famous constellation you can find in the sky is orion also known as hunter let's quickly summarize what we have studied so far number 1 stars are huge celestial bodies made up of hot and burning gases they are luminous objects as they emit light on their own second sun is a star It looks bigger and brighter because it is nearer to the earth as compared to the other stars. Number 3, Proxima Centauri is the second nearest star to the earth after the sun. Number 4, Pole Star is the brightest star which remains in the same position in the sky. Number 5, a group of stars forming a recognizable shape is called a constellation. Number 6, Some of the famous constellations are Ursa Major also known as Great Bear or Saptarishi Orion also known as the Hunter That's all for today students see you in the next class